Hello, this is my outlook on the Badlands reactor pack weighing in at 1 pound 8 ounces and 900 cubic inches. Now, it's basically an overnight bag. Deodorant, oh, no, no. This is more like it. This is a great pack for overnight. It's a great pack if you're going to travel a little bit even. It compresses to nothing, even when everything's in there. It will go into any airplanes overhead like that. Pretty much if a bus or you're traveling with a bus, uh, train is not a problem. This just stays with you 24-7. You'll never lose it. Uh, the back of the pack comes with the air track and ventilation systems covered up, it's got my email in case anything happens maybe someone might be honest enough to return it these are the, the straps now for the life of me I do not understand why this pack did not come with a sternum strap I had to rip it off an old bag which was pretty much dead but for a couple of cents for them to put a sternum strap in. Uh, seems a little kind of ridiculous. Okay, basic utilisation of this pack, which was I bought it for, was uh, hydration. Uh, it's got two outlets. There's H2O, it's marked out, it goes in on the left if you're looking at it, and there's the other one that goes in from the right. So you've got dual a dual perception of which side you want your backpack for, water hydration for. Inside, you've got your main pocket, which is really pretty roomy. If I'm going to go somewhere that it's hot and I'm not going to be actually doing too much, I'll put in maybe a couple of pairs of socks, you know, maybe two, maybe three t-shirts, and you know, same as maybe three jocks. And you can fit in a few little extras, I actually can fit in a little tablet if I'm just traveling in civilian life. Now this is the pack, it's meshed and in there is where you use your hydration bladder. Yeah, having taken that out, it's, it's a decent size, yeah? They've got it coming in as, let's see, around about three litres. It's never leaked. Sturdy. Works well. Nothing else to be seen. Aside from the fact that if you put that with that water in here, say you're going to jump on a plane or something, you put that without any water. You can fit actually another one of these in here, you know, not inflated. It won't take up any room. You can still fit all your like, little knickknacks in there. So overall, great little pack. And we open up the front. In here I keep a set of leather gloves. Uh, some feminine hygiene products, you know, in case of an injury, leave that up to you. Water sterilization tablets, so it doesn't matter where I go, where I end, if, uh, what, you know, worst case kind of scenario, you, you're out back and you've got to siphon water from a lake or a stream, you know, you can, you can sterilize it. Ceramic water purification filter, the inlet's got a filter, but if you wrap it up with a bit of cotton or just something along the lines of linen, just to stop any uh, gunk from blocking up the, the inlet. Uh, okay. Basically, sterilization tablets, bandages, a couple of more little items there, disinfectant. So, bit of a molly system out front. Right side pocket, left side pocket, carry a compass, rope, 
knife, including fire starters, got to change the blade, the handle is too heavy, extra webbing. So the purpose that I got this for was hydration and it serves itself really well. I'm impressed with it, except for the fact that it didn't come with a sternum strap. That's just that's just crazy. In hindsight, I'm glad I got it. It certainly does a job. It can carry a lot of weight. Hooking it up, webbing, strapping, molly system. I'm very happy with the bag. If you're thinking maybe it's a little bit too simple, you might want to look at the Badlands tree stand uh, package. It's a, it's a little bit bigger and offers some extra features. But yeah, aside from the sternum strap, which I'm going on about, it's a great unit. Be safe on the holidays. Yeah.